So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a small demonstration of how to set up the flash drive for the uh, restoring the deep racer to factory setting. So go ahead and follow this link for Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, the link is in the description. And then just make sure that when you get a flash drive, it's, it's at least 32 gigs. So let's go ahead. Since I'm on the Ubuntu virtual machine, I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions for the Ubuntu computer. And then, yeah, so let's go ahead and just start. So I went ahead and just download Gparted. <clears throat> and then let's sudo Gparted. Okay. And then, well, first off, before I do that, let me plug in my USB drive. Okay, let's connect to Linux. Cool. And then let's select our USB drive, which is under dev sdb. And then let's go ahead and unmount everything and delete all the partitions. So the way we unmount, you just right click on each partition and then unmount. And the same thing is done to delete. Uh, just right click, delete, right click, delete. And then let's apply the changes. <clears throat> okay, and then let's go ahead and start part C and D, which we will make our boot and flash partition of the flash drive. So the way we do that, we just uh, click on this page plus icon. And then as it says here, free space proceeding one, and then this has to be 4096. Let's go ahead and press enter. Um, and then the file system should be FAT32. And then let's label it boot. Cool. And then let's do it one more time, this time for flash. Um, the remaining size is fine. The rest should be flash, MIB, primary partition, and then this should be NTFS. And then let's label this flash. Cool. And then let's go ahead and apply the changes. Alright, so as you can see, boot is inside partition dev sdb1. Just remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. <clears throat> so you're going to want to uh, download this customized ISO image. Uh, just look at the name Ubuntu 20.04, 120.11.13. Alright, let's save that. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and download unit boot in. So let's do this. And let's continue. So let's press enter. Okay, let's go ahead and proceed. And then let's see the unit boot in. Okay, so if you run into this error, you um, just basically just copy some error line, <clears throat> just insert it to Google. I know exactly what it is. It's something with the config, some environment uh, configuration. So let's just paste this. And then let's go ahead and just follow that. 
and then as you can see it's this line inside the nano etc environment <coughs> so let's go ahead and just look at this github is more reliable you can go ahead and check that and then underline this and then it says the pseudo nano environment okay <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and just paste this. There we go. And go ahead and run the unit boot in again, and it should work. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and click on this image, make sure this is ISO. And then let's go ahead and click on our file. Since I already have it downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. So I don't want to download it during the video. <clears throat> it should be in downloads. And then it should usually go on the downloads directory, but then here I have on working. And then Ubuntu 24.04, as you can see, it's the same one. Let's go ahead and open that. USB drive, and then remember that the boot section of the partition is STB1, so that's right. And then to confirm, you can go ahead and check Gparted, STB1 is boot. Okay. Go back to the boot in, and then let's continue if it's okay. So you must first mount the USB drive. No, I'm just sure it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and <clears throat> eject our USB drive and then reinsert it. So I'm gonna go ahead. To files. Okay, so I'm just gonna safely just disconnect the USB drive. Connect it again. Connect to Linux. There you go. You should see it there now. Now it's mounted. And then let's go ahead and do pseudo unit boot in. Again, disk image ISO, and then let's go ahead and <clears throat> go to our Ubuntu image. And then SDB1, and then this was okay. So let's come by. <clears throat> I think another way to um, mount our partition is to do it directly on the G parted. I think we could have just uh, right clicked and then pressed mount here, and then I think that should have worked. Otherwise, um, you can go ahead and just Disconnect the flash drive and then connect it again when you get that error that you saw previously. Yeah, just let it download. Okay, I came back. I went ahead and just watched a 50 minute show. Came back. It's completed now. Um, <laughs> So let's go ahead and exit, and let's continue the instructions on the unit booting window. Okay, so we've successfully just uh, made the flash drive bootable. Okay, so now we're going to have to copy the um, Ubuntu 24 software stack files. So let's go ahead and just press this to download it. And then you just usually save it on your downloads directory. And then since I already have the save, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cancel this. And then let's go ahead and look at what I have. So, uh, at this point, you just uh, drag and drop. It should be pretty simple. Um, if you look into the boot, so the unit boot in successfully did this. So we have boot here. It should ex look exactly like this. And then for the flash, 
So have it on downloads and it should be working. And then you usually have this uh, .zip file and then you just extract it and then you get this uh, factory reset. And then it should look exactly like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and press control and option. Just click on all these files and then let's just drag and drop into the flash partition. Then you get this like pie icon to show like the percentage of complete completion. And then we're just gonna have to wait for this to complete. Okay, and then so everything has copied to the flash drive. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And then just make sure that you have all these files. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine files in the flash, and then um, let's look at the sizes. So the factory reset.zip is 12.8 gigs, and then the ISO image is 3.1. And then after you're done with that, uh, you can go ahead and continue on the update device to Ubuntu 20.04. This is when you basically eject the flash drive and then you plug it in and then you press the escape button on the keyboard that's connected to the deep racer. And then you get into BIOS, the BIOS menu, and then you just like boot from file and then you just continue from there. Boot from file, it's right here. EFI. Yeah. But that should be pretty much it. Uh, let me just eject the USB drive and then, yeah. There you go. All right. That should be it. So good luck.